Pemberton is rebuilding schools, and today they broke ground on the first of seven new schools. Seven, wow. That new school is on Northwest 118th between Barnes and Cornell. Coyne wants to know how the district plans, though, to keep the kids safe in the midst of quite a bit new development in that area, as well as traffic. So we sent our core Harlan to find out. Excavation has begun for what will be the first of seven new schools in Beaverton, made possible by the passage of last year's $680 million school construction bond. When it's finished, the new two-story building will have room for 1,100 kids. Uh, I think most people are really excited about it. I'm excited about it. I know we are. Holly Spence is a regular dog walker along Northwest 118th. That's the street that'll go right by the front of the new school. Cars using 118th as a cut through between Barnes and Cornell moved along pretty slowly as I watched today. Despite some concerns to the contrary, Holly thinks it'll keep being a pretty safe street for kids. I think we've learned to go pretty slow down this road because. People used to go down that hill pretty quickly, but it hasn't been an issue lately. I asked Beaverton Schools' Maureen Wheeler about potential student safety issues when it comes to a new school on a busy road with lots of cars. She tells me that many existing Beaverton schools are already on busy streets. They use what they've learned at the other locations to help with safety here. Like Sunset High School is on Cornell Road. It's a heavily traveled road as well. And so there are school zones uh, that during certain times, uh, crossings, lighted crossings. Uh, so I think you'll see a number of things that we'll have to comply with. We did leave messages for the city of Beaverton today asking what specific measures might be taken to control traffic here in this new location and we're still waiting for a call back. But we did go over to Sunset High School to have a look at what they've done to make the street safer there. And during the school lunch hour today, in addition to a police photo radar unit, there are blinking pedestrian crossing signs and traffic that's slowed down to a crawl as it goes by Sunset High School. In Washington County, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. So the new school, it's going to open in the fall of next year. And the district says it's going to be called a swing school, which means students from several other schools will be swinging through there while their old school buildings are being demolished and then rebuilt on their existing sites. So they'll build a school, move kids, move those kids out, build another school. Makes sense. Yeah, that's efficient. I think so.